welcome to another teaching by 119 Ministries. Our ministry teaches that the whole Bible is still true and directly relevant in our lives. If you would like to know more on what we believe and teach, please visit us at testeverything.net. We hope that you enjoy studying and testing the following teaching. The Hebrew word translated into English as law is Torah. It simply means instruction. Like any loving father, God offers His instruction, His law, to inform us of the best way to live. God's instructions, His law, only does three things. Number one, it defines sin. Number two, it blesses us when we obey, obedience. And number three, curses us when we disobey, sin. Let's review some scripture. Number one, defining sin. Jeremiah chapter 44. Because you have burned sacrifices and have sinned against Yahweh, and not obeyed the voice of Yahweh, or walked in His law, His statutes, or His testimonies, therefore this calamity has befallen you, as it has this day. Ezekiel 18. But if the wicked man turns from all his sins, which he has committed, and observes all my statutes, and practices justice and righteousness, he shall surely live, he shall not die. And Daniel chapter 9. Indeed, all Israel has transgressed your law and turned aside, not obeying your voice. So the curse has been poured out on us, along with the oath which is written in the law of Moses, the servant of God. For we have sinned against him. Romans 3. Because by the works of the law no flesh will be justified in his sight. For through the law comes the knowledge of sin. Romans chapter 7. What shall we say then? Is the law sin? May it never be. On the contrary, I would not have come to know sin except through the law. For I would not have known about coveting if the law had not said, You shall not covet. And 1 John 3, 4. Everyone who practices sin also practices lawlessness. And sin is lawlessness. Number 2. The law blesses us when we obey. Deuteronomy chapter 11. See, I am setting before you today a blessing and a curse. The blessing if you listen to the commandments of Yahweh your God, which I am commanding you today. Psalm 112. Praise Yahweh. How blessed is the man who fears Yahweh, who greatly delights in his commandments. Psalm 119. How blessed are those whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of Yahweh. How blessed are those who observe his testimonies, who seek him with all their heart. Psalm 128. How blessed is everyone who fears Yahweh, who walks in his ways. Proverbs chapter 8. Now therefore, O sons, listen to me. For blessed are they who keep my ways. Isaiah 56. How blessed is the man who does this, and the son of man who takes hold of it, who keeps from profaning the Sabbath, and keeps his hand from doing any evil. Matthew chapter 5. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Verse 10. Blessed are those who have been persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Luke 11. But he said, On the contrary, Blessed are those who hear the word of God and observe it. James chapter 1. But one who looks intently at the perfect law, the law of liberty, and abides by it, not having become a forgetful hearer, but an effectual doer, this man will be blessed in what he does. 1 Peter 3. But even if you should suffer for the sake of righteousness, you are blessed and do not fear their intimidation and do not be troubled. Revelation 22. Blessed are those who wash their robes, so that they may have the right to the tree of life, and may enter by the gates into the city. And number three, curses when we disobey. Deuteronomy chapter 11. And the curse, if you do not listen to the commandments of Yahweh your God, but turn aside from the way which I am commanding you today, by following other gods which you have not known. Deuteronomy 28. But it shall come about, if you do not obey Yahweh your God, to observe all his commandments, and his statutes, with which I charge you today, that all these curses will come upon you and overtake you. Verse 20, Yahweh will send upon you curses, confusion, and rebuke in all you undertake to do, until you are destroyed and until you perish quickly on the account of the evil of your deeds, because you have forsaken me. Verse 45, So all these curses shall come on you and pursue you and overtake you until you are destroyed, because you would not obey Yahweh your God by keeping His commandments and His statutes which He commanded you. 
Joshua chapter 8. Then afterward he read all the words of the law, the blessing and the curse, according to all that is written in the book of the law. Nehemiah chapter 10. Now the rest of the people, the priests, the Levites, the gatekeepers, the singers, the temple servants, and all those who have separated themselves from the peoples of the lands to the law of God, their wives, their sons, and their daughters, all those who had knowledge and understanding, are joining with their kinsmen, their nobles, and are taking on themselves a curse and an oath to walk in God's law, which was given through Moses, God's servant, and to keep and to observe all the commandments of Yahweh our Lord, and His ordinances and His statutes, and that we will not give our daughters to the peoples of the land, or take their daughters for our sons. And Psalm 119, You rebuke the arrogant, the cursed, who wander from your commandments. Jeremiah chapter 11, And say to them, Thus says Yahweh, the God of Israel, Cursed is the man who does not heed the words of this covenant. Galatians chapter 3, For as many as are of the works of the law are under a curse, for it is written, Cursed is everyone who does not abide by all things written in the book of the law to perform them. Revelation chapter 22, There will no longer be any curse, and the throne of God and of the Lamb will be in it, and His bondservants will serve Him. The law of God defines sin, so that we can avoid sin. When we place our faith in the Word of God, which is who our Messiah was and is in the flesh, which also includes God's law and the Word of God, we are then afforded grace in the faith, bringing us into salvation, into eternal life, removing the curse from our breaking of the law. The Word of God that we place our faith in as truth blesses us as we do the Word of God, as we walk out all of it in our lives. Those who believe the Word of God will by default do the Word of God because people only do outwardly what they already believe inwardly. We hope that this teaching has blessed you. And remember, continue to test everything. Shalom.